So Modana was started in 2010 on the idea that if we could find a safe way to make mRNA, make protein in human cells, we could change the course of medicine forever. So over the last 10 years, Modana has gone through a lot of phases. You know, in the first two years, we had 20 people and almost no money trying to figure out how do you make this technology work. And then, of course, the pandemic hit, uh, you know, uh, early 2020. And so for 2020 and 2021, it was really kind of uh, all, all hands on deck. Well, the race started even before we knew we were developing a vaccine against COVID. When all of us learned in early part of January that there was a new respiratory pathogen that was spreading through China. And everybody realized it was a coronavirus. And quickly, what part of that virus that we were gonna to need to develop into a vaccine so that we could protect people from COVID. That process in January quickly ran into the clinic and clinical trials that started in March of that year and ran through our pivotal clinical trials, our phase three clinical trials, showing that the vaccine was 95% effective at preventing COVID-19, which came to be in November of that year. Now that might sound like a long time, March to November, but it's actually record setting in many respects. No previous vaccine had been developed faster than a few years. So mRNA technology is what we've been working on at Moderna for the last decade. It's making messenger RNAs that send instructions to cells to make a protein. And in order to do that, we need to first make that messenger RNA and then put it into a delivery vehicle. In our case, something called lipid nanoparticles. They're really just small balls of, of lipids, of fats, that help protect that messenger RNA and get it to the right cells so that those instructions can be unpacked, decoded, and your body can learn how to protect itself from a virus. What COVID taught us very acutely, what every infectious disease teaches us every time there is an outbreak or a pandemic, is these viruses, these pathogens, don't know borders. A threat anywhere in the world is a threat everywhere. And so what we need to think about is a global solution to emerging and neglected infectious diseases. And we think mRNA is a unique solution that can allow us to address vaccine demand at a scale that we've never been able to do before. mRNA Access is a program that we launched in early 2022, and it opens our platform science to researchers around the world to work on emerging and neglected infectious diseases. We saw the work that we did with COVID, saw the promise of mRNA, and realized that tackling global health is not something that Moderna can do alone. We don't believe that everything is going to be invented at Moderna. In fact, we think some of the best things won't be. And our commitment is to make our technology available to academic researchers, to government researchers globally, not just in the traditional powerhouses. So mRNA Access invites researchers around the world to leverage our platform for their needs. So that they can continue to pioneer the science so that if a disease X emerges, and it is not one of the 15 priority pathogens that we're working on, that there are people who've already got candidate vaccines and experience working with our technology to try and address them. We hope then to quickly plug that into that global manufacturing network and be able to do even better against a disease X than we did against COVID-19. We have publicly announced we're going to be a net zero company. So that is to be net zero in carbon emissions. So that's our greenhouse gas commitment. But sustainability programs are much bigger than just greenhouse gas. We also want to be a great steward of the environment and using natural resources in a responsible way. So as a healthcare company providing you know, life-saving or life-changing medicines to patients, it's important for us to do our part to protect the environment, to make sure that people have clean air, clean water, a healthy place to live. So um, environmental protection and sustainability is how we do that and demonstrate that commitment. Do I believe that mRNA uh, is gonna be used in cancer? I do. Do I believe mRNA is gonna have a huge impact on kids and families with rare genetic disease that cannot be treated with 
small or large molecule? I do. Do I believe we have a big impact in cardiology, potentially to regenerate like heart tissue after a heart attack? I do. So I think that this technology is just at the beginning and you need a tiny bit of scientific imagination to see what's coming down the road. And I think it's a very important medical revolution that's going to help billions of people around the planet.